vehicles, the Cyclops, give it to me. Yes! Cyclops decoy tube? What the hell is a decoy tube? What's up guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are back in Subnautica. That's right you guys, and no snap. It's gonna be an awesome freaking day, but first, if you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you smash that like button, and subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter, link is down there in the description. So guys, welcome, welcome back, and happy Tuesday everybody. So today, today we are inside of the base, but it may surprise you to see where exactly we're at, and if you can see these little floating mountains right here, yes indeed, I decided to go ahead and build another scare room right next to the precursor base or whatever whatever this is so I actually did a little bit of research a little bit of a spoilerific research and I turns out that the aliens are known as the precursors or something like that I think that's what you call them but as you can see the structure is right here so I went ahead and threw it down here so we're good to go so we have a place to come to uh, to do a little bit of scanning for some uraninite you know there's there's some things down below that we could probably get to not to mention there's probably entrances to other biomes on this side um, and I thought it would be kind of cool to have one all the way out here so it's pretty cool we have a scanner room out here now we have a bioreactor uh, powering it and we have um, some Chinese potato plants out here to make sure that I can continue to keep the bioreactor going. And we can always just grab a snack while we're out here, so we're good to go. But in today's episode, guys, we need to get some major stuff going. So what exactly do we need to get going? Let's go ahead and jump into the sea moth, and I'll talk to you for a second. So in the last episode, you guys remember that we got the water filtration system, as well as a couple other fragments, um, or a couple other blueprints. So we got the modification station. I can't remember if we got it in the last episode or an episode prior, but I went ahead and built the modification station, made my ultra glide fin so I swim super fast, and I also made the thermo blade, which is a it's a heated blade. It's awesome. You can basically cook fish on the mark, like on the spot. Just smack a fish with it and it cooks it. It's pretty freaking sweet. But today, we definitely need to get into the water filtration system, because if we get into that, then we will have food and water on lockdown, and then we can go out and explore a crap ton. But today, we're going to go out, we're going to venture out, because we need to find the Cyclops blueprints. So the Cyclops is the very large submarine that we had in the first playthrough. Um, the submarine will help us to get down way deeper than we can ever go in a sea moth and even by my even swimming by myself So that's what we need to get into today. We already have all three engine fragments So we're good to go on that front, but the Cyclops itself is comprised of three different uh, or actually it's comprised of nine different fragments You have three engine blueprints you have three, um, or three engine fragments, three bridge fragments, and three hull fragments. We already have the engine, we need to find the hull and the bridge. So that's kind of the, one of the main things that I want to do today. Hello there, life pod. Did we find this one already? We must have. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that we have. But, off camera, I actually got another message. 300 meters down is the Keen's last, uh, second officer Keen's last broadcast location. And I believe Officer Keen is one of the people we heard from in the last episode, um, going down into the water and stuff like that. So, I have to assume that they, uh, they died down there, but I just smacked a Gary fish into the sky. But okay. We have a few things that we need to get done. I have a few things that I need to make. I have some wiring kits to make in order to do this, but I will also say this. I went ahead and upgraded my suit. Look at this. I have the scanner room chip in there now. So any any data that I'm scanning for in the actual scanner room will be streamed to my helmet and I can see it on my heads up display. So it's so freaking cool. But let me go ahead and get these wiring kits made up. We're going to grab the water filtration system, and there goes a the peeper, and we're going to grab a couple other things, and then we're going to head out and explore. All right, so I believe we have everything we need to make the water filtration system, and in fact, I have enough stuff to make another thing. In fact, two other things that I'm pretty excited to make, but let's see. Uh, we need... Where's the filtration system? Right here. Oh, no, we can't. <gasps> I was looking at the wrong thing. I was looking at this thing. Aerogel. What the hell do you need to make aerogel? Crap. <laughs> I was looking at the bioreactor. What the hell do you need to make aerogel? Let's see. Resources, basic materials. 
Uh, enameled glass. Oh, I forgot about the stalker teeth. Oh my god. Right here. A ruby? Where the hell do you get rubies? I have the gel sacks, I think. Let's see. Did I pick one up? Yeah, I got one right here. But I only have one. Where the hell do you find rubies at? Well, shit, maybe we're not going to be able to get into the water filtration system today. But you know what we are going to be able to get into today is this. Let's see. We have the stasis rifle. Oh, thank you very, very much. Give it to me. Give me my gun. Give me my first gun. And then the propulsion cannon. Warps gravity to pull and push objects. Oh, yes. Hell yeah. And there we go. Got myself the propulsion cannon. Sweet! Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and keep those with us basically the entire time. Now, let's see, wait, hello. I would agree. I, that, there's no question of my survival at the moment. I'm doing fine, computer, thank you. But okay, let's go ahead and just dump all this stuff inside of here. We don't really need it anymore. And we're gonna go out and have a little bit of fun. So let's see, wait, before we go, hmm, I should probably make up some water. Then again, how much water do you get from these Chinese potato plants? Let me check. Give me some of these, please, thank you. What do you get? Three. I mean, that's not terrible. It's pretty bad. I suppose I should probably make up some water before we go. Man, that really freaking grinds my gears. I wanted to make the damn water filtration system, and we can't. Alright, well that's fine. We can work towards finding rubies. Perhaps we'll find some when we go out today, but check this out. So the propulsion cannon upgrade, apparently, you can upgrade it to be the repulsion cannon. You need two magnetite and one computer chip, but I don't know what's different than that. Uh, applies percussive force to entities in range. Now, could that kill things, I wonder? Because if it could kill things, then I may think about doing that. But I'm not sure. We'll go ahead and just keep all that stuff in there. Just put that stuff in there. We'll go ahead and keep both of these guns with us. And I think we'll... I, well, hmm. I was going to say we'll we'll put away the, uh, the habitat builder. But I think we'll be okay. Now, let's see. Healthcare, do I have any extra water? Oh, look at me thinking ahead. Holy Jesus, look at me. And we'll go ahead and take those with us as well. And I think we'll take a couple of these Chinese potato plants with us. Either that, or we'll just be fine, and we can head out right now. Now, let's see. I have a map kind of open at the moment on my computer. And I'm, I'm looking kind of where we're at. So, let's see. Where's the map? It's right here. So, if we go... I think if we go straight, kind of like... I mean, if we go from the back of the Aurora, and we go trying to see it's it's kind of strange we need to find i think we need to find the mushroom forest so the mushroom forest is where we need to go so if we go from the back of the tail or the the back like the engine of the aurora and we go kind of diagonal to it we'll get there so i think that's our first plora uh, our first our, i can't even speak right now dude holy cow our first plan of action is to go out that way so you know what it's time to load up the seamoth and head out there Alright, I found it. We're good to go, although those gigantic black squares are not helping, but I believe that's one of the fragments we need right there. Let's see, we got one? Yes, indeed. Cyclops Hull Fragment. Hello there, Ghost Ray! How you doing? Or Jelly Ray, whatever you're called? Don't swim away from me, you damn thing! Don't you make me put you inside of this uh, stasis rifle, because I will, boy. Oh, I will. Let's see, let's go ahead and get that on there as well. There we go. And I would like to scan you, please. Oh, wrong gun. I would like to scan you. Come here, boy. Yeah. Whoop. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Do I actually have to hit him with it? There we go. Now can I scan you? Thank you. That thing is so cool, dude. That's so freaking sweet. Freaking stasis rifles. That's so damn cool. Now let's see, can I grab him with the propulsion cannon? I think you can grab things with the propulsion cannon. Let's see. Uh, what did I just grab? Oh, I grabbed a piece of coral, okay. Uh, can I shoot it? Yep, there it goes. <laughs> Alright, so good. Uh, can you go away, Black Square? Is, is something censored right there? What's going on, buddy? Hmm? Am I just not allowed to see that? I mean, there's a jelly ray right in front of me, but that is getting really annoying. I don't know what goes on right there. Maybe it's something with my settings, I'm not sure. But okay, that's one out of the three hull fragments, and then we just need to find the bridge fragments. 
So, perhaps it would pay to do a little bit of looking around. Maybe there's rubies in this biome. Let's see. Just curious. It looks like there's stuff growing on the sides of these trees. Let's see. They are. A tree leech. Oh, let's not get too close to it. Is it a parasite? Parasitic fungus-like growth found attached to other life forms. Interesting. Exploitable fungal enzymes. Okay. So what if I cut this off? Does anything happen to it? Doesn't seem so, no. That's really interesting. Okay. Now let's see. Is there anything else growing on these? Like, look at this thing right here. A glue cluster. The frick is a glue crook? <laughs> what? What? Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, can I scan these things? I think I can. Tree mushrooms. Okay. Nice. There we go. Got ourselves some tree mushrooms. Okay, so I think it's it's finally turning daytime, so we should probably do a little bit more looking around here. See if we can't find the other fragments. But those sounds, oh my god, they sound like deer. Like caribou? It's exactly what they freaking sounded like, except a tad scarier. Okay, so I literally just cut. Found ourselves another Cyclops hole fragment, but there's also a bridge one right here. But there's also this thing! What the hell is this thing? It looks like a freaking whirlpool. There's the bridge fragment. Um, okay, that's looking pretty alien-ish. Oh, it just spit out a... That's interesting. It's it's sucking in fish, and it's spitting out fish. I'm kind of tempted to go towards it. Um, I really don't know if that's the correct thing to do. Let's see. Can I even get sucked into it? Yeah, it, it looks like everything that goes into it gets sucked back out. Alien vent. Let's see. What is it venting? Let's see. What do we got? These vents connect to an ancient piping network that extends beyond maximum scannable depth. The pumping system is still functional. The inflow vent is drawing water from the surrounding area and pumping it to an unknown location below the surface. Warm, deoxygenated water is being expelled into the atmosphere. Most creatures are avoiding the vents. Peepers can be observed by entering uh, and exiting the pipe network without signs of distress. Interesting. So that leads somewhere, that's for sure. But okay. Uh, the last fragments have to be around here somewhere. And there we go! Cyclops Vast Industrial Use Submarine. So the recipe is this, and I feel like it got cheaper. It takes three plasteel ingots, three enameled glass, one lubricant, one advanced wiring kit, and three lead. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I could have sworn it took like ten plasteel ingots at one time. I can't remember though. Um, either that or it was 10 titanium ingots or something like that. But three plasteel ingots, that's not too bad. So check this out. Let me break it down for you real quick. So we need an advanced wiring kit, which takes a wiring kit, and it also takes a computer chip. Now the computer chip takes a copper wire, a gold, and two table coral samples. Very easy to make, as well as these. Now, once we get that, that'll be fine. That's probably one of the hardest things to make. But the plasteel ingots, um, it takes two lithium, and a titanium ingot. So we only need six lithium and three titanium ingots, which is 30, uh, 30 titanium, which is super easy to come by. But the most difficult thing to get is the enameled glass. But the good thing is, is we only need three stalker teeth in order to do this. And guess what you can scan for in the scanner room? You can scan for stalker teeth. So that's a good thing. That means we will, I'll just be able to jump into like the, uh, um, the creep vine cluster area, grab myself three stalker teeth, make up three glass, and we'll be good to go. So I'm really thinking we may actually be able to get into the Cyclops today and go down pretty deep. Now, there's also a few upgrades that I got for the Cyclops. Check this out. I, f I scanned some of the, the fragments, or I picked up some of the fragments, so check this out. There's a Cyclops death mod depth module, not death module, uh, MK2 and MK3. So these take some interesting things. It, it needs module MK1, a plasteel ingot, and then it needs nickel ore. I've never seen nickel. And then this one, it takes a plasteel ingot, MK2, and something known as kyanite. So we're getting into things that I have no idea what they are. But I would imagine it has to do with some of these larger deposits of things. Maybe they're kind of like side effect deposits. You know, how you can normally get like uh, in these little, like these little things right here. You can either get like gold or silver or lead or and, stuff, and stuff like that. And in the copper or in the, the limestone ones, you can get copper or titanium. I would imagine it's something like that. It might just be a luck of the draw type thing. But... I think we may go ahead and try and get into the Cyclops today, guys. I think it's going to be something 
that um, is worth it to get into as soon as possible, because then we can really start to progress towards the end of the story and go from there. But we really do need to get into the Aurora. I mean, we're right next to it, but you know what? I'm, I have my mind set on this freaking Cyclops that I really do kind of want to get it. So you know what? Let's just focus on one thing at a time. We're going for the Cyclops. All right, so the scanning for stalker teeth did not work this time for some reason. Of course, the one time that I need it to work, it doesn't work. But that's okay, because I found another way to do it, and it works with this propulsion cannon. So if I just grab a piece of metal, because apparently the stalkers, they're addicted to metal. They love the scrap metal. They love all that kind of stuff. So if I grab one of these bad boys, and they grab it in their mouth. Come on, big boy, grab it in your mouth. And then I yank it. Sometimes it'll yank their tooth right out of their face, and it works so well. I just need one more. I've got two in my inventory, but let's try this one more time. Let's grab this metal. My propulsion cannon is almost out of power. Get that metal. There it is. Oh, there it is. Give it to me. Yes, there we go. Okay, we have all three stalker teeth, and you'll be happy to know that back at the base, I have the three plastic steel ingots, I have the advanced wiring kit, I have the three lead, and I have the lubricant. So now, all we gotta do is make up... Let's see, where's the base? Uh... Oh, right there. All we gotta do is make up the enameled glass, and then we will be plus one Cyclops. Alright, so we'll go ahead and deploy our little guy, just like that. Oh, wait, I forgot I had to deploy him. There we go. We'll go ahead and do this, and there we go. Perfect. All right, my little robot friends, you're back and ready to build, right? The sun is setting. Couldn't think of a better time to build this bad boy. Vehicles, the Cyclops, give it to me. Yes, Cyclops decoy tube? What the hell is a decoy tube? The Cyclops is designed to be operated by a three-person crew. I'm so excited. Here we go, here we go. Oh, it's gonna drop in. Here it comes! Yes! Oh, and it lives. <laughs> oh my god, I freaking love this thing. This thing is just so damn cool. We gotta board it. We gotta board it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh my. Systems online. Oh, I like that voice. That's freaking sweet. Hello there, baby. Good to see you back in here. So this right here, for those of you that haven't seen, um, uh, haven't seen Subnautica before, this is actually where you can keep either your sea moth or your prawn suit. You can just kind of suck it up inside of there, and it's really nice. We can go and go and go ahead and close that bulkhead right there. May as well. There is a reef back outside. Holy Jesus, that was deep. All right, we'll go ahead and come up here. Back here is the engine room. Now let's see. It comes stocked... Okay, good. I was going to say, I can't remember if you had to make your own power cells, but I believe it comes with uh, six power cells. Now, let's see. The access upgrades, it's got three upgrade, Or, it's got six upgrades. Jesus, criminy, that's huge. And it comes with a fire extinguisher? That's amazing. Oh, man. It looks like a lot has changed here. Wait a second. Open decoy loading tube. Wait a second. What is this decoy thing? Let's see. Does it have it? Here, let's see. That's an engine efficiency module. A Cyclops shield generator? Wait a second. Increases the capacity of the Cyclops decoy loading tube. Okay, we gotta figure out what the hell that is. Oh my god, that freaking reef back is like right outside my door. Yeah, they made this much bigger. Holy cow. Whoa. Oh, this has a health bar now, dude. Oh god. So does that mean things are going to attack this thing now? Yeah, it certainly looks like they've changed up a whole lot with this thing. What do we got right here? No vehicle docked? Oh, snap. Okay. So we need to go ahead and dock the uh, the Seamoth right there. Jesus, that freaking roar is huge. Now, let's see. There's an orientation right there. That's kind of cool. Pilot sub. It already has a compass. Always nice to see. And then, let's see. What else do we have? Hello there. Okay, so this is where we edit the name and all of the colors and stuff like that. But what's this? Internal light. Oh, dude. Yes. Ultimate exploration. Ultimate exploration in the nighttime. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and that takes away the glare, too. I always remember there being such a terrible glare on the gigantic window. Oh, that makes it so much nicer, dude. That is nice. All right, we'll go ahead and turn on the lights just in case. Now, let's see. What do we want the name to be? Do we want it to be the Red October again? No, I don't think it... I don't think we do. Hmm... 
Let's see. Give me some name suggestions for the submarine down there in the comments, guys. I'd love to see what you guys want it to be. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll go ahead and turn the saturation up just a tad. And we gotta paint it my colors, you know? Let's do the base just like that. And the stripe, we can go ahead and paint it. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm having trouble with the controls. Let's see. Can I go ahead and paint it black? Yeah, just like that. There we go. So we'll go ahead and keep it just like that, and we'll jump out of here. Because that freaking, freaking reef back is loud, dude. Oh my god. Now let's see, did it change the color? Oh my god, it did! Oh jeez, that's so freaking cool looking. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Okay, now we need to load this thing up with some stuff. Honestly, I want to go out and explore a little bit, and I want to see what this thing can do. Now, I'm thinking, or I'm trying to think rather, we should probably... Mm, we should take the Seamoth with us, but only for a little bit, I think. But, basically, what I want to do now is I want to throw a couple things in there. That way we can prolong our exploration. So what I'm thinking is we need to get a grow bed, an indoor grow bed, and we need to start growing some of those Chinese potato plants in there. Um, that way we can take food with us. Alright, so we have a couple goodies up there in the Cyclops now. I went ahead and put down some plant pots, as well as a radio and a fabricator. So now, now when we're out on the road, as you can say, we can answer messages now. Thank goodness, and this time now no one's gonna call. But let's see, this battery is almost charged, and charged. Wonderful, thank you. Give me that battery, please. Thank you very, very much. So we have a few things that I want to get into the Cyclops before we head out and go explore. I want to go ahead and make sure that we have the plants growing so that we have our source of food. I want to bring up the water, and I think we're actually going to leave the Seamoth here. The more I think about it and how deep this thing can go, the worse idea it is to bring the Seamoth with us because of how deep this thing can go. Because even though the Seamoth is inside of the Cyclops, unless they fixed it, Whenever you would have the sea moth inside of here, it would crush itself because of the pressure, even though it was inside of the Cyclops, but we shall see. So let's go ahead and throw that into there. There we go, and that's growing. Good stuff. So we have two of these, just in case. I don't know if it's going to grow multiples of the plants, but I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Now let's see, I have a bunch of extra batteries in my inventory, and instead of building my own storage, we're just going to use these lockers just for now. So we're going to go ahead and throw in some of the important stuff. Extra power cells, titanium, uh, bat or not uh, not titanium. I was looking at titanium and putting batteries in there. So we'll go ahead and keep those stuff, that stuff in there. We'll go ahead and put that stuff in there. We don't really need that. Rebreather, absolutely, we can keep in one of here. We'll go ahead and bring up some med kits as well and some water. That way we can kind of prolong ourselves while we're out there. We'll go ahead and take some water while we're here. We'll get full on food, full on water, and then we're just going to head out. Now, I'm thinking one of the best ways or one of the, the best directions to go to may end up being back towards the Aliens Island. You know, there's quite a few things out there that we have yet to see, especially getting down fairly deep. Now, let's see. We'll go ahead and eat these bad boys just like that. Get all full right on food before we do that. Let's go ahead and replant those. And we'll grab these plants just like that. Replant one of those and eat those just like that. Look at me thinking ahead. And let's see, we'll grab some water, and then we'll be good to go. I'm actually really excited to go out and see what's see what's out there. It's been so long since I've had a freaking Cyclops, dude. All right, we'll go ahead and just grab all this water. May as well just take everything out of there. And I need that. Thanks. Can I have that back? Thank you. Okay, guys, I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Let's go ahead and grab a save. Thank you. And here we go. Let's go ahead and jump back up onto the Cyclops. Look at it just sitting up there. It's so damn cool. <laughs> oh my god, I love this so much. Alright, and where's the reef back? I heard him. I heard him rumbling. Alright. Thank you, Cyclops. That voice is awesome. Oh my god, that voice is sweet. Alright, we'll go ahead and just throw all this stuff inside of here. And we'll go ahead and drink some water while we're at it. There we are. And we'll throw some of that into there. And last but not least, we'll throw some of this stuff in here. Man, the Cyclops is just an amazing freaking machine, isn't it? Alright, it's time to close the bulkheads. Looks like that one doesn't close, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and climb up here. And let's jump on the helm, shall we? Pilot sub. Engine offline. Whoa, this has changed. Engine offline? I didn't know that it didn't come with the engine on. Hello, what do we have right here? Uh, rig for silent running? 
Uh-oh. I have a bad feeling about this. What is that bar? Let's see. Oh! That was a badass freaking announcement. Oh my god, that's so freaking cool! Oh, hello. What do we have? Power down the engine. What are these? Emergency speed. Emergency speed, okay. Now that just added some overlay to that bar. Oh, cool. Different speeds. Okay. I, is that sound? I wonder. That looks like it's sound. Rig for Rig silent, for running. silent running. running. Oh my gosh, that's so freaking cool, dude. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. I'd imagine that takes a lot of power. Um, but is that a torpedo? I'm thinking that's a damn torpedo. And we have the cameras just like the last time. Oh, that's so freaking cool, dude. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and we'll go ahead slow. Okay, so look at the bar right there. It's It went up a decent way. So we must be emitting a decent amount of sound. This is really fast to be ahead a slow. The hell is the freaking flank speed? Oh god. Excessive noise? Excessive noise? So why would noise be a problem? Oh, this is freaking me out, dude. This is freaking me out. I don't know why... Why it would be a bad thing to make so much noise. I mean, unless you had to sneak past, like, a freaking Reaper Leviathan or something like that. That's really strange to me. Okay, so now, let's see. We're going back towards the Aliens uh, Island. So, we're gonna go ahead... You know what? Let's set standard, spe standard speed. And let's get up closer to the surface because I don't want to drag my belly. Oh, I have my horn! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, dude. This is amazing. I love this thing so freaking much. Alright, so let's just continue onward towards Aliens Island, and we'll get deeper as things go on. So, to put this into perspective, the freaking Seamoth can go down 200 meters. This can go down 500 meters. A whole 300 more meters. So I'm pretty happy about that, but we really do need to get into some of the upgrades for the Cyclops. You know what? Before we cut... What does it take to build the upgrades? Let's check real quick. Let's just check together, shall we? What do we got? It's up here somewhere, most likely. So, this one takes a ruby. This one takes... What the hell is all of that? Benzene and polyaniline? Cyclops shield generator. We don't know it. Magnetite and computer chips. Oh, we need to get that. We need to get that. Three magnetite in a computer chip scans the terrain outside the Cyclops and displays it on a 3D map in the cockpit. Okay, we have a lot of things that we need to get. So if we're out and we find magnetite, that's what we're picking up. Okay, so it's currently nighttime. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the out the inside lights off. Look at how dark it gets in here now. That's so freaking sweet. Now let's go ahead and turn the external floodlights on, and we are right outside the alien's island. Now let's go ahead and descend, shall we? We need to be careful, because I don't have my sonar yet, so I can't really tell where the ground is at. I think I just smacked it. Maybe? Oh yeah, look at that. So, that looks like I just smacked something. How's the health? Health looks fine. Can we go ahead and... Let's see, can I see the ground? Let's see, I'm on the conning tower. Now I'm on the screw. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, well, that sounds wonderful. Oh, there's a bone shark right there. Hello there, little buddy. Smile. Okay, so... Oh, and look in the bottom right-hand corner. There's kind of a, an orientation right there. Hello there, little fishies. How you doing? You can kind of get up close and personal to these things. That's really cool. What am I getting hit by? What the hell is hitting me? You damn things. Okay, so we need to be careful. We definitely do need to be careful. We need. We probably should wait until it's daytime, honestly. Let's see. Let's go and continue ahead. We're, we're ahead slow. So that's fine with me. Alright, we're going to go ahead and come out this way just a little bit. And then we're going to start descending. We're going to stay in one place and we're just going to descend. And see where it gets us. So far, so good. Okay, there's the ground. <laughs> okay, found the ground. 
Okay, there we go. Yep, okay. There's the proximity alert. Thank you. That's nice that that has that. Okay, looks like my bottom was just about to rub something together. Not sure. Let's see, where's my little scanning room? I think it's over here. Yeah, it's right there. So the scanning room is down at like 250 meters below. I think I'm getting hit by fish. That's what's hitting me in the back. So let's go and continue to descend down to here. I think it's still nighttime. Oh man, this thing drops fast. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, my ears are popping. My ears are popping. Okay, oh, I almost slammed into the ground. Good one, Ryan. Okay, yep, the back of the back of the sub is close to something. Okay, so now we're over here by my scanning room. All right. Interesting. Okay. Now let's go ahead and continue downwards. This is now past past the scanning room. Oh, hello. Okay, here we go. Okay, that was a warper, I think, is what that was. Okay, we're getting down pretty low. We're going to go ahead and move away from the, the mountain. It is fairly difficult to see without sonar, that's for damn sure. Maybe we shouldn't have left without sonar. Let's see. Let's go ahead and continue down. And we'll see how far we can go. And see what we can see, I should say. Wow, we are deep down here. Holy cow. We are just about 350 meters down. And it seems to be fairly flat down here. Not a whole lot to see. Or I should say fairly sparse down here. There's like nothing down here. Let's see, you know what? Because the Cyclops is such a big bitch, we're going to go ahead and just sit right here for a second. You know what? We're going to go ahead and power down the engine. Engine powering down. Oh my god. What I wouldn't give for that dude's voice. Oh my god. Alright, we're going to go ahead and drop out of here. And let's see. Let's see what's in this area, shall we? The lights are still on, so that's good. Oh yeah, we are deep down here now, boys. We are deep down. Okay. What was that? <laughs> Did you just hear that sound? That was a little bit scary. It sounded like it was laughing at me. Okay, this goes deep. Oh my god, this goes deep. Oh, there's a warper in that hole. Um, hmm. There's a tunnel that goes down there. Look at my little overlay right there. The sonar? That's showing a gigantic tunnel. Okay, we're not going to get too carried away. Let's see. There's some big deposits right here. Silver. Okay. So, if we come out just a tad further, I think we can actually come down this way. But then again, we are close to 500 meters. We're only 100 meters away from it, so... And I may die. That's going to be real awkward if I die. Oh, God. Get me inside of the Cyclops, please. There we go. Nailed it. I'm amazing. Oh, Jesus criminy. Oh, my God. It's dark in here. Where the hell am I? Okay, so I think, you guys, I think I may have to go ahead and end off today's episode right here. Unfortunately, I know I'm going to have to leave it on a cliffhanger, but I think in the next episode, we need to have sonar. Because in order to use this thing, we're going to need to know where we're going and what's around me. Like, if there's a mountain, or if there's a cliff, or something like that. we got to know where we're going. But it looks like that is a gigantic hole. So we may have to check that out in the next episode. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more daily videos. And if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. And guys, I will see you in the next video.